Assalamualaikum and welcome to Students Oriented Anatomy. I am Dr. Saira Javed. Today we are going to discuss the development of muscular system and the pattern of this lecture would be that I am going to ask you questions and you are going to brainstorm about those questions and answer those in your mind and then move forward. It will really help you to remember the things and uh, will also help you to learn. Okay, yes, there are four basic types of tissues present in the human body. There is a nervous tissue, muscle tissues, and uh, epithelial tissue, and connective tissue. Yes, the three types of uh, muscular tissues are uh, cardiac muscle, skeletal muscles, and smooth muscles. Okay, uh, the term gastrulation refers to the formation of three germ layers that are ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm. This is the most characteristic event which occurs in the third week of development and uh, the term germ layers specifies that further uh, the organs or further structures are going to arise from these three germinal layers and as also the name indicates most of the muscular tissue arises from the mesoderm that is this middle layer gives rise to the muscular tissue, most of the muscular tissue present in the human body. Mesoderm is further divided into three components, paraxial mesoderm, intermediate mesoderm, and lateral plate mesoderm. The paraxial mesoderm is present just beside the midline. Here you can see in diagram A that uh, just besides the notochord on both sides, the mesoderm, which is uh, orange colored structure shown here, is present. And just besides the notochord, the mesoderm present is labeled as paraxial mesoderm. And the one which is present on both sides, just beside the paraxial mesoderm, I am going to highlight it with green color. It is the intermediate mesoderm and the one which is most laterally. I'm going to highlight it with orange color is the one which is known as lateral plate mesoderm. The lateral plate mesoderm then further divides into the parietal mesoderm and the visceral mesoderm. Okay, so mesoderm divides, or mesoderm has got three components, paraxial mesoderm, intermediate mesoderm, and lateral plate mesoderm. The lateral plate mesoderm further divides into parietal mesoderm and visceral mesoderm. Dear students, I know that you like it, so don't hide it. Do hit the thumbs up button share with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Now I am going to tell you about the development of skeletal muscles. The skeletal muscles arise from the somites which are present in the parietal mesoderm and mesenchyme of pharyngeal arches. Somites are the, are the worlds of mesodermal cells which arise in the third week of development on both sides of the neural tube. You can see here that these structures are 
chromosomes and they are present on both sides of the neural tube from the dorsomedial and ventrolateral edges of the somites precursor of muscle cells arise in the seventh week of development the musculature of the limbs that is that are the upper limbs and lower limbs start forming now we are going to discuss the development of smooth muscles the visceral mesoderm is also known as splanchnic mesoderm this is the visceral mesoderm it is also known as the splanchnic mesoderm it gives rise to the gut that is the smooth muscles in the digestive system it also gives rise to the smooth muscles in the respiratory tract and the smooth muscles present in urinary bladder and urethra from the parietal also known as the somatic mesoderm blood vessels and lymphatic vessels smooth muscles arise Okay now we are going to briefly discuss the development of cardiac muscle Okay in this diagram you can see the developing heart tube The mesoderm which is present just around the developing heart tube that is the visceral mesoderm or also known as splanchnic mesoderm gives rise to the cardiac muscle cells present in the myocardium of the heart due to the faulty development of the muscular system there can be certain congenital anomalies like partial or complete absence of a muscle prone belly syndrome or muscular dystrophies so the muscles which can be absent are palmaris longus serratus anterior or quadriceps femoris so either these muscles can be absent or they can be partially absent So what happens in the Pollen's sequence is the pectoralis major muscle, which is the muscle present in the chest, is this muscle, this one, is absent. As you can see here on this side, the muscle is absent. and the pectoralis minor muscle can be partially lost the overlying structures on the chest can be displaced or distorted and syndactyly is also present that is fusion of the digits Prone belly syndrome is characterized by the lack of abdominal musculature and the skin on the abdominal area wrinkles the appearance of the abdomen of the newborn resembles like dried prune this syndrome is more common in males characterized by undistended testes and urinary tract malformation sometimes there is urethral obstruction resulting in the 
distension of the abdomen. The abdominal wall is so thin that the organs are visible and can be easily palpated. Okay, now this is your task to find out what are pharyngeal arches and uh, muscular dystrophies and do comment in the comment section below. I hope that you have uh, learned about the basics of development of uh, muscular system. Now, do subscribe, like and share it with your friends and comment in the comment section below if you have got any queries regarding the lecture. I will try my level best to answer the queries of all of you.